Hello and welcome. Yes, it's me talking, and this video is a not so quick explanation of my coloring process. So I'm going to skip the sketching part because it's not the main idea of this video. So I'm going to draw Mina from twice for this video and I start by adding the base colors for the hair, skin, and clothes each in their separate layers. The red box is where I pick my colors but I don't like using a very saturated color so I only use half of it. This is where I pick my colors for my highlights and this is where I pick my colors for my shadows. For the shadows, I start with the mid-tone and slowly add a darker color as I work on it. I add some red tone or warm color to the cheeks, nose, ears, chin, eyes, and sometimes the collarbones. Lock layer transparency so you will only color inside the layer that you're working on. So here I'm just adding more red tones. Now I'm just adding darker colors to my shadows. And for the shadows, it always depends on where your light is located. If you don't know where to put your shadows, um, I recommend to always use some references if you're a noob like me. You can always find references on Pinterest and it is my go-to when I need some references that I can use or some inspiration for my drawing. the opacity of my sketch layer so I can start defining the features of the face. Don't worry if it does not look good at first. You can change or adjust things later on in rendering your art and also don't jump into details right away. It is because when you focus too much on small details early on in the process, you may lose sight of the big picture and this can lead to a piece that feels incomplete. And being too focused on details can be time consuming of course and may result in you becoming too attached to a specific element of the piece making it uh, difficult to make changes or adjustments as needed. I'm only adjusting things here before rendering, so don't be afraid to make changes or adjust the proportions of your piece. When I want to add more depth to my shadows, I use the multiply layer mode. So I start by adding a new layer and set it into multiply and clip it on the layer under it and then pick a desaturated color and start painting over the area that I want to be darker. This is just to show you how I use multiply layer and you can also erase some parts of it to show some light. So here I'm just continuing adjusting the proportions 
and also adding some details on the face and also doing the details on the hair and clothes flip your canvas once in a while so that you will see what mistakes you need to change or adjust in your piece or the glares at the last part and also I add accessories at the very last part of my process when I'm ready to start rendering I will merge all my layers except for my sketch layer and that's when I start to render everything and that's basically everything about my color process and now watch me render Thank you.